Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M221. In this video we're gonna see how to use the function block drum that we have in EcoStructure Machine Expert Basic. So let's go to the presentation. Let's start the presentation with a small introduction what this drum does. Basically the drum uh, is like a electromechanical drum sequencer that with the that depend on the step of where the drum is, it allows you to execute an action. This is similar, um, it could be similar like the step counter, that the main difference is like the drum, it, it allows you to depend on the step that you have, that you are, um, it can execute or change the status of a on a percentage M or percentage Q variable that you have. Okay, that is what the drum does. The step counter allows you to count the steps. So in every change that you have in the input, okay, the step counter will will change the bit in a word, okay, and then you can use that bit in the word to execute an action. In the drum, it's different. Depending on the step, you can execute different kind of actions. Okay, we're gonna see that later. Now, depending on the the start that you have with the PLC, with the restart, you have call and warm. With the call, it would initialize the step of the drum in zero, and the warm restart, it doesn't affect the drum. Let's continue with this. In order to add the drum into your project, we just need to go to the function block list that we have and select this icon over here. Then just click on the function block and put it on the rung, in the part of the rung that you want. You can see here we have only two inputs and one output. The output, the input R is for to reset and you is for advance on, on one step, it's just like an increment on the step, and the F is just to indicate that it's for the steps has completed. So, in order to access to the complete configuration, we can go here, we can double click to go into the drum properties where you can see all the drums available in the software, and then we have the configuration for each drum. Another way to access to this is via the programming tools, here select tool, software objects, and then go into drums to see these drum properties. This is an example how you can use the drum. Okay, it's just simple. I created two variables over here and one at the output, and this variable to show the actual step of the drum in a percentage NW variable. Okay, so how does it work? Let's see this example. When you have the, let me just open the, mm -hmm, this one, perfect. When you open the drum configurator, you can specify the amount of steps that you can use. And these steps are this one over here. Okay. So, depend on the steps that you are, you can activate some bits that you have over here. You can use the percentage M or percentage Q. Okay, you can activate some bits, depend on the steps. Okay, in this case, let's see, just erase all. So in the step zero, okay, I'm going to activate the bit zero and I'm going to activate the bit two. Now, these bits are linked to a variable, so when we are on the step zero, this variable percentage M70 and 72 will be on. Then, when I receive on the input U a new value, okay, we just go to the step one, and the bit zero will be off, okay, off, this is zero, and the M171 will be in one, okay? 
and so on and so on. So every entry of the U that we have in the input will modify the actual step, a step that we are in, and then in this step we can see which bit will be activated. So let's take a look on this example over here where you can see the trace for the actual step, the percentage end with 40, that takes the actual value. Okay, this is the actual step will be show over here. Okay, and then I can send the variable to a percentage NWU, so we can use that in a remote display or in um, on a HMI. So going back here, you can see here that the percentage N66 is the one that activates the steps. If it's in zero, you can see here the step zero, only the percentage N70 and 72 will be activated, as you can see over here. Let's take a look here, this point. So if we go back, 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 back you can see that this one is in one, okay, and this one is already in one, okay, because we are in the step zero. Now let's take a look now when we activate an input, the M66, then you can see that this one goes to one, the step one, as is how you, in the step one, we are looking over here only. So everything will be in zero, but the only one in true is the M71. You can see here below, below, this one goes down, this one goes down and this one up because we are in the step one. Now let's try this one, the next step. So this one goes down, it has an effect. Okay, now we have a new entry over here. Okay, and this one goes to a step two. And the step two over here, okay, is just everything in zero but the B3 will be on. So B3 is the N173. So if we go back a little bit, you can see this one is zero, this one goes to zero, this one is already in zero, and this one is up. Okay, so you can see here the behavior of the drum, okay, in each step how it works. Now, if you reset, okay, if we reset over here, the M65, which is this one, okay, is the reset. And as I mentioned before, the reset allow us to go to the step zero. Over here, you can see this one is go down from the step six and it goes to zero once again. Okay, so. This is how the drum works. You can specify a step, and in each step, you can link a specific bit that you want to be activated or not. So in each step that you are increasing, you can activate different bits. That is the idea. So what we can do now, okay, is this. So. We are going to work in an application like uh, this one is just a simple buster. Okay, so I have different pumps. Okay, I have four pumps and I'm going to con control the contactors. Okay, to activate each pump. So we're going to have five modes over here. Okay, so we can think this as I have in five steps where the we want to have an input, um, the input zero that allowed us to change between the modes, okay? And then when we, in each mode, what we're going to do is to activate pumps. So in the first mode, it's going to be off. The next mode, we're going to activate only one pump. The only, in the other one, we're going to two, and the mode three, three, and in the mode four, all of them. 
and once it reached the step 4, okay, the next one should be the mode 0. So, this is how we are going to activate this. Okay, so let's go to our software. Okay, I'm going to start a new application, which is this one. So, the drum over here, going to link this to a percentage I0.0 .0. over here. Okay, now I believe there's nothing else over here. Okay, what we can do is to compare if uh, the value of the step to reset, that we're going to see that later. So, if we enter in here, we can see the drum properties. So, we can go to configuration. Here, we're going to activate five steps. Okay, and we're going to activate, let me see what we have done over here. Okay, you can see here, we have activated five steps. Okay, this one will be mode zero, this one mode four. In our case, this is a zero. Okay, and then all the variables that we're going to link together. So, all the outputs. So, if we go back here going to link this to the output 0 q0.1 q0.2 q0.3 so the first step the mode 0 everything is going to be off in this step mode 1 only 1 this one only 2 this one only 3 and this one all 4 okay so let's simulate the behavior of this in our software. So let's simulate this. And I have this, the controller on the other side. Okay. We can also create an animation table. Table drum. So percentage i0.0 0, 0, q0.0 0, and I believe in this way we're going to see 4 there we go so now if we activate the input 0 okay it will increment in 1 so only one pump is activated which is 0 1 again step 2 which is mode 2 only 2 of the pumps is activated let's, uh, let's activate this go back here okay three and let's see the status of the dr zero okay the dot s is the actual status the actual step so let's go back here and let's activate all of them as you can see here is activated Okay, so what we can do if we want is to reset the next time this one is activated. So let's do something like this. Let's log out. Okay. We can use this. I'm going to use the trigger to activate this step. And then what we can do is when this one is full, you can use the output dr0.f to indicate that it's full. So the next activation okay, will um, will reset this so let's try it i'm thinking fast on here so let's see if it works or not so let's connect again okay good now let's open the simulator on the other side okay 
activate it step one step two step three step four and it activated that so this is not going to work okay just hold on a minute <laughs> So when this is full, what we can do is this, let's see, otherwise we can make a comparison to activate. Okay, one, step two, step three, step four okay you can see i mean it's step four and then step five and it has been reset the status okay the problem that i have seen here is that it's using the same cycle to to make the reset and that wasn't what i have expected okay so i have used the trigger of the input to activate the reset only when the drum is full on all the steps so we can start again okay so this is like a small example how you can make this example of the buster okay um, as you can see it's very simple if you want to activate um, some kind of different bits depend on the step that you are in okay the difference between the step counter and the drum is basically what i have told you at the beginning the drum for me is much better because depending on the step that you are you can activate different bits inside the configuration okay and what is done is done you can modify it but if you compare that with the step counter it allows you to give more versatility because you can specify depend a bit and activate different stuff inside your code but it's up to you how you want to work with this and we have made a small example using this buster just to have an idea how we can use in a real project so this is it for the drum so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one Thank you.